All right, hello, wine drinking people. Entering into the third week now in January. Whew, and we're already getting behind in this what I drank yesterday part of the show. I know that I said I was going to review it on the end of each email, but man, we just cannot get around to it. So we're just going to do it however the hell we can for the time being. All right, well, first up, we had uh, Anthony in from the Florida Wine Company. And Anthony's got some great stuff. The uh, Beaujolais from the gang of four Kermit Lynch's portfolio of wines. Stunning Beaujolais, 2009. The best vintage ever in Beaujolais, 2010, equally as good to me. Maybe a little more concentrated, a little more classic style than 09, which is very forward and in your face. But this Guy Breton Regnier, Regnier? How the hell do you say that? I don't know. This is one of the crew Beaujolais, though. And uh, there are 10 crews in all located on pink granite soils, giving them a little more structure and a little lower pH, one of the things that defines these crew Beaujolais. And uh, these producers are biodynamic, as you would expect. And uh, this comes from 40 to 100 year old vines. This guy, Breton wine, very exotic bouquet of fresh picked flowers, sweet tobacco spice, wild strawberry, raspberry kind of fruits, nice freshness on the tongue in there with uh, floral character showing through in the finish, and lovely zesty finish here. The acidity really showing now. These wines still very young, but nice concentration of fruit here as well. Excellent Cru Beaujolais, 33 bucks. All right, the guy, Breton Morgon, a wine that's a little easier to pronounce. Uh, this is uh, more pink granite and less of the sandstone found in Regine, Regnier, uh, a bit more tightly wound also, but still that exotic spice showing, mints, uh, some black raspberry fruit, wild strawberry, notes of animal, kind of leather, wild flowers, maybe a bit less forward, but very nice fruit on the uh, tongue here, and uh, lovely floral notes to the finish, and that zesty minerality showing as well. Jean-Paul Thibonet, Morgon, uh, this wine has more of lo that lovely fresh floral and herb notes on the nose, with wild uh, raspberry and strawberry fruit, a nice hand of spice here as well, really nice refreshing stuff of red all three of these 2010s with succulent berry fruits yes they're all 2010s had to double check and uh, a host of that spice and zesty acidity showing through on the finish leaving the tongue salivating for food lots of nuance and minerality they're excellent more going as well all right the sesti brunello de montalcino moving over to tuscany uh this wine is from the 2005 vintage a bit forward really drinkable these 2005s drink them while you wait for your 2004s or 2006s to mature in your cellar this wine had a lovely bouquet of fresh earth porcini mushroom lifting from the glass the estate located in the castello the argiano region of brunello the proprietor giuseppe sesti uh, all natural but not biodynamic and an astronomer in a former life you notice some of that in the label work uh the here on these bottles and uh, really nice forward and seductive typical of this 2005 vintage red berry fruit but still really balanced as you would expect from a classic producer not a blockbuster in style but drinking really nicely at the moment 2010 Domaine Dichon Moulin Avant one of the biggest of the crew Beaujolais we do it Beaujolais Brunello and then back to Beaujolais all right well that's how we did it this day and uh, this wine is a little monster man really rich deep bouquet of dark berry cherry fruit and uh, lots of violet kind of floral nuance as well 70 year old vines on granite soils no finding no filtering bit of that animal somage showing here as well and uh really nice firm tannins and an excellent backbone of facility wow really stunning stuff most excellent juice the cheapest of all the beaujolais could it be the best to me it was on this given sunday all right that's what we had to drink with anthony coming up next we've got jeff from ta in with a few things from mccrusty winery